when I was a little girl, I loved Volkswagen things. So when I saw the Jeepster, I was like, that's like the best of both worlds. What it could be with the whole off-road scene, I was like, that is the car. So when my dad said, hey, it's time for you to get your first car, you can have any car you want as long as it's four-wheel drive. The first thing that came to mind, since it had to be a four-wheel drive, was this Jeepster. Around town, I'd be driving, and I kept seeing this old-school Jeep. And then one day, I finally saw this blonde girl driving it. I just thought, wow, I need to meet her. My Jeepster has brought me from California to Texas, and the coolest thing it's brought me is my husband. We met through a local Jeep club. After we got married to begin making memories with the Jeepster, we made a very strong effort to go camping with it. And in doing so, we would throw camping gear in the back of the Jeepster and just cruise there around the countryside with the windows down. And since your fuel gauge doesn't work and you have to count mileage, we run out of gas and then there's that whole adventure. And then you look back and laugh because it was a struggle. But when we're traveling and exploring in the Jeep, yeah, we need to get to certain destinations, but if we don't, that's okay. The trip is the trip, not the destination. As the Jeepster became drivable and I showed it at different car shows, I started to realize as an artist in the automotive industry, there is a connection there because of the pinstriping scene and the custom paint scene. I just started to try it on my own as far as pinstriping and it literally was fate that I fell into the automotive industry. I'm so glad I did because it is two passions combined now. There's a lot of commonality between working on cars and creating a painting. The initial want to do it, because sometimes that painting, you're so scared to mess it up that you almost sink back into a corner and you don't want to touch it. And then once you start putting the paint on the panel or doing your first brake job or something, you all of a sudden start realizing like, this is going well. And then you start doing more and you kind of build confidence as you accomplish certain parts of the job. When we went in to rebuild the engine, I didn't even know how to drive the Jeepster or change the tire or the oil. So it was a fresh start for me and my dad was super willing and able to teach me everything I needed to know because he was a mechanic his whole life and did that for a career in the Air Force. So he taught me everything I know about cars when I was about 15. When my parents were diagnosed with their serious health issues, that kind of was right in the thick of building the Jeepster. And so it was tough to come to the realization that maybe dad couldn't do everything that he wanted to do to help us physically, but he still came out to the shop every day and told us with his words how things needed to be done. And my mom was always so supportive of us continuing through the Jeepster build because it kept our mind off of what was going on and it gave us a common, calm ground to talk about the serious life issues that were happening. So it definitely brought us together in an unexpected way. Also I remember a really distinct feeling of having a timeline. There was no time frame of when my parents would get to be feeling better or if they would and with mechanics there's steps and then you're done. My dad and I were like infamous to-do list makers and that gave me a sense of stability and I think it did for him too honestly. I still have all those to-do lists because they remind me of perseverance. <laughs> and I think about what I get to tell my kids and it gives me a sense of pride like, grandpa did this and then I got to learn how to do it from him and now I get to teach you how to do it on your own car or even on this car maybe. And it just resonated with me and made me realize that the Jeep is way more than just four wheels and a hunk of metal. I would never sell this Jeep. I always joked if I ever couldn't drive it, I would just park it out front and plant flowers in it. It's just a time capsule for me, both in historic Americana, but also for my own family memories. It's so sentimental to me. Going out and cruising out in the country on some old dirt roads in an old Jeep with my wife, there's no worries about work. 
and that's the greatest thing of it. And when you're doing it with somebody you love and care for, it's 10 times better. The passion we share for all things automotive and with automobiles and Americana is the nut and bolt that has anchored our relationship together. If somebody told 15 year old Kate that this is what I would be doing with my career and I would be married to this awesome Texan and driving this cool Jeep around, there's no way that I would believe them. I'm really thankful that we have a common interest, but it's even that much cooler that our common interest is something that motivates us to go on certain vacations. The car itself is the reason we go certain places. <laughs> Not so much the destination, but the journey to get there. And so that really is cool to have that same passion as my husband and somebody that I consider my best friend. I'm Morgan Cook. And I'm Kate Cook. And this is why I drive. <laughs>